At Tokyo's Haneda Airport, a futuristic testing program is underway. It's a sign companies are taking Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's Reform 2020 project seriously. One that sets the Tokyo Olympics as a benchmark for introducing advanced technologies, including custom service robots. For both tech companies and Japan itself, the Olympic Games, with a potential global audience of around 3.5 billion, could be an ideal shop window. Taking this opportunity, we'd like to introduce such a kind of technology uh, so to worldwide. The concept of showing off its high-tech expertise when the world is watching isn't new here. Just 10 days before the 1964 Olympics, Japan launched the high-speed Shinkansen bullet train. The drive towards 2020 has hatched fresh transport initiatives. With Nissan, internet company DNA is aiming to have driverless taxis available during the Olympics. It's also working on a robotic delivery car for logistics company Yamoto. Space entertainment firm Ale is another company looking to launch its technology, man-made meteors, in time for the games. In 1964, the Tokyo Olympics put Japan on the global stage as an economically and technologically advanced nation. And while initial organizer estimates put the cost of the 2020 Games at 16 billion US dollars, that could be money well spent. If, for the country and its tech companies, 2020 proves to be a case of history repeating. We need to realize a very successful game. It isn't mandatory, but additionally, we want to realize a sort of very great sort of, uh, technology solution. I want to make Japan great again. <laughs>